Hi and welcome to Hopefully Helping. I'm Gary. And I'm Jo. And today we're going to be talking about this. I'll move it out of my face, shall I? Um, this is uh, an epilepsy monitoring wristband um, that we, I say we, uh, my father got for Hope for um, medical reasons, obviously. Yeah, around our birthday time. Um, and uh, basically what it's what it what it can do um, so it's just a little band that sits around the wrist um, so it's an epilepsy monitor it's called an embrace 2 epilepsy sensor um, and it can connect to a mobile phone by Bluetooth and give you real-time updates on um, pulse breathing that kind of thing it it's really good because it does, um, if repetitive movement, movements after, what is it, 10 seconds? Yeah. It's 10 to 15 seconds, it will send an alert to both our phone. I think it's up to four people. Four people. It people. depends on the subscription. It's a subscription based. Ours is for four. And um, basically, will alert us that she's having a seizure. Um, and obviously, we can get to her if she's out of sight. Um, it's really good. Uh, this one actually cost about two hundred and fifty. It's two hundred and forty-nine. Yeah, so two hundred and fifty. Yeah. Um, it is brilliant. If, if you look at it, there's no flashing lights on it, obviously, which is really important for for somebody like our it's, daughter Hope. It's like a small watch, isn't it? It but is. With nothing I mean, that they can do to it. You can actually turn on so that the lights light up for the time, but for our our daughter. She has no concept of time, no. so the le less that's going on with this, the better. The, um, it's a website for it called uh, Epilepsy Alarms UK, um, Connected Freedom. Sorry, I'm just reading it there, you can't see. Um, I'll, and I'll post all of that in the description below, the whole product. and It's got a lot of information on it. Um, obviously, this isn't the only... Um, epilepsy monitor there is plenty out there but this is one that wasn't um, in well it really really expensive some of them yeah um, but the only downfall is with our hope is that because it's elastic and she doesn't understand that it's got to stay on she will just take it off and lob it so <laughs> what we've decided to do is I don't know if you see these these have been pound shops they're like elastic bandages and what we do is hang on, let me just show you we got pink but they do come in all different colours <laughs> it's very tough and basically we just put it around she can't see the beginning or the end so she literally she can't lob it off it's she can't pick at it because there's nothing she can't find i mean she might do one day but right now she can't find the beginning or the end so she has no no option but to keep it on her wrist but and it just comes straight back off and you can reuse it i mean it's brilliant for a pound um but that's how we got around um keeping the watch on her wrist uh obviously we still have monitors camera monitors everywhere anyway but it is just an extra secure peace of mind um, during the night um, if maybe I haven't heard or um, anything like that and but also when when she's not at home which is yeah pretty good yeah so um, so when she's at school when she's pretty much anywhere this will tell us where she is yeah it's also, got GPS yeah. um, she's gone gallivanting for the night <laughs> wouldn't put it past her sometimes um, but the going back to the bandage, it it, it doesn't cut off blood flow. No, I, I can attest to that. I've just had it on there. I've got no mark on my wrist. It's um, really it's pretty loose, comfortable. Um, it's firm, but yeah. it's, it's not tight. It's not yeah. cutting off any blood supply. It's um, better than the the white bandages that you wrap around, and then you've got to use the pin. Yeah. And it's yeah. uh, it's not a bad product. Um, now we get to, to test this long term. We've had it on her a few times because with lockdown we've been with her constantly haven't yeah. we? so we haven't really needed to use this so much we've had it on her for a few times when we've got out to the park and she's had it on 
um, once or twice after she's had a seizure yeah, so that just we can, in case she do, has another one yeah um, which touch wood she hasn't had it that many no in, in, in lockdown anyway I think she had what two the whole time yeah uh, she's averaging about one a month at the moment yeah. she is having obviously daily absent seizures um, she, she's having partial seizures about two or three times a week at the moment they're yeah. not as severe as tonic clonic but um, she does kind of go floppy and she seems to be unaware of her surroundings for a minute or so yeah. and she'll just simply go to sleep. Um, so it's not a life-threatening seizure but um, obviously concerning all the same Always. but the, um, the absent seizures she seems to have them at least 10 times if not more a day. She does. Um, yeah. but whether that will get better, I don't know. They do seem to be getting worse as she gets older. Um, Which is ironic, really, when we were told they would get better and she would grow out of it. But, um, yeah, uh, um, and that they go. wasn't part of epilepsy. Until she had a, a massive epilepsy um, seizure, we got told that, yes, yeah, she has got epilepsy and um, the absence seizures are part of epilepsy. So one hospital, don't know what the other one <laughs> seems to think of that. So... But we're under the right people now, and she's on the right medicines, so... Um, yeah, so that that's good. Um, the Embrace 2 comes with its with a, a cable. This isn't the, the right cable for it, but it's just a USB, micro USB. Um, and you can plug the other end into any charge. I think one came with it, actually, but... Right. Um, anyway, so you get quite a decent amount in the box for what, what you're paying for. Um, and it's good that... It's just a micro USB cable, so you, you can use any cable wherever you are. Yeah. Um, it is a very good product from what we've seen so far. Obviously, we'll do more oh, tests. Oh, and you can pay for it. If you go onto the website, there is a part where you can pay for it um, over time. Uh, you know, different, different type of payment options. Um, so that's all, always worth looking at. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, it's been a bit of a lifesaver for us, so yeah. thank you, Grandad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dad. Um, it's, it's also recommended uh, by the NHS as well, so yeah. it's, it's not like we've just gone out and gone, that one will do. No. We, we did quite extensive research on it to, to pick the right one. It, it, you know, it just so happened it was a nice girl type, type colour. You can get um, different colours. But they come in blue, grey, there was yeah. quite a few, wasn't there? Um, so anyway. yeah, it, it, it's, it's worked out quite well. Yeah. Anyway, so as we told you on the last video, we were going to be doing the drive. We've started um, starting to look a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been doing it while Gary's been working. Um, I've just basically been putting bricks down, trying to uh, build up the foundation ready for the top. Um, not sure whether we're going to do cement or uh stones yeah on top whatever's the cheapest option really um yeah um to be honest looks aren't hugely important are they it's I suppose not well you married me shut up <laughs> um what what i mean is it, it, it needs to be able to have our cars on the driveway so that and hope don't run off that's the main thing don't yeah. care what it looks like or how cheap it looks it just needs to do its job yeah that's simple as really so yeah, so Joe's been been working hard doing that, and it's quite weird for me to be sat here working, um, looking out the window and seeing my wife lugging these great big bricks. sacks of uh, oh the stones, stones yeah. And to be fair, bricks. you did lift them onto the pavement for me. Yeah, <laughs> but that's, that wasn't exactly hard work, was it? But um, we don't matter. Yeah, um, every little helps, as Asta says. <laughs> they bring you back that advert. Did you know that? Yeah. Totally useless piece of information. Um, <laughs> I seem to excel in that. Um, so yeah, um, we Joe has started working on our driveway, um, which is really nice. It's driving me mad looking at it. Um, it just looks like a council estate. Not that there's anything wrong with that because we live in one, but <laughs> it just looks like a tip. But we're getting through that. So um, hope to be back at school Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Um, slept all night last night. Great. Um, Which was very nice. 
uh, Chicha is over the moon at her. She can't believe how big she's got. Um, she seems to want to communicate more at school. Um, she wants to join in as much. Um, normally she would shy away and be quite happy on her, on her own, doing her own thing. Um, but she loves adult interaction. But put another child in there and she's like, whoa, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's quite strange that one, isn't it? It's, um, yeah. She just doesn't seem to be that social around no. her own peers. Give her um, adult company. I, I, I guess that's because she's hung around with us so much. Well, yeah, she's she, she's got lots of cousins, but unfortunately, they're not local, so she doesn't interact with um, children of her own age, except for at school. And obviously, the last few months, it's been very difficult, and we didn't really want to take her out because she's got a low immune system. So yeah, yeah. keeping her <laughs> keeping her away from this virus has been quite difficult yeah it? especially when we've had appointments at hospitals that they wanted us to actually take her there it's like no we're not doing that she can't wear a mask because simply she won't wear a mask i mean She's if anyone's got a special new child they will know and most of their terms are completely on there on them it's just just can't do it yeah we're uh, we're completely at her mercy um which is i guess the best way for it I don't know. Um, it's a good way for a peaceful life, put it that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, don't really know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it means life. that she's not going to chuck herself on the floor and throw a paddy that she doesn't want this thing on. She's come to terms that me and Gary will wear one, wear one. but at first she was like, she kept on pulling it off our face, didn't she? Or she oh, ran yeah. away from, from you in Asda. It's like, yeah. that scary man's got something on his face. And it wasn't a beard. So now, <laughs> so now what she does, she just comes up to me, and pings it pinged, in my yeah. face and then she goes off and does something else so um yeah she, she's learning to tolerate it I'm, I'm wondering if they wear them at school actually i imagine they will yeah that, but that might be a bit upsetting for her but i think she's doing another stuff. two days next week and then she's back to full time when her bubble is established so um yeah she's coming home very tired but very happy very happy very happy it's lovely. Um, it's really lovely. It's really, I might yeah. even next time she comes home get some footage of that. Bit of recording of hope. And I've been filming some what people would believe to be dust. One of them to be my husband, Gary. Some orbs in her room. I'd like him to put some footage up of, of that if you don't mind, Gary. I can do that. And um anybody wanna tell me the your thoughts? Um it seems to be a lot in the last few nights. I don't know why there's normally the odd uh, one or two, but there's been absolutely loads. And I take, took about uh, a minute and a half worth um, of dust. So um, you can... It's not a dig at all. I mean, it's, honestly, it's not <laughs> you can all let me know what you think and, um, and tell me. Because I think they're orbs, but, you know... They might not be. <laughs> they might actually be dust, but dust don't flash. I'm not that I'm aware of anyway. Well, I think that's about all that we've got for today. Um, we will do yeah. another one, what's today, Thursday, over the weekend with some footage of the um, the drive. Um, hopefully the weather is a bit better by then so we can get some more, some more stuff down. At the moment it's absolutely peeing down out there, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Um, so, yeah, um, so thumbs up if you like this video. And thumbs down if, if you don't. Um, please subscribe. Also, check out our merch store in the description in the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care. Right, let's go sort that little tinker out.